What's going on guys? This is Sal from the Game Experts. Welcome to another episode of Game Experts TV. Oh sh here we go again. Oh gosh, does it feel uh, good to be back. It's been over three months since we haven't recorded any new content. Um, yeah, we were in lockdown and yeah, we were pretty much locked up, couldn't do anything. We couldn't really come into the store and produce any content. Uh, it was just pretty much us coming into the store and packing orders. Again, I want to thank everybody who did order online and sent us some awesome messages of support. It was really, really uh, good to read through them. So thank you very much, guys. But now we're out of lockdown. I don't want to jinx it because of the last video I did, but fingers crossed we don't go back in, but all right, we're out of lockdown. <laughs> 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 so today we're um, going to be unpacking some uh, graded cards that we had returned back to us. So we submitted some cards to PSA in the US and CGA, who's a grading company here in Australia. Most of those cards are actually from videos that we posted, you know, a while ago. So there's a few of them from the mystery box, the $500 mystery box that we sent over for grading. Then there's some of them from that massive collection that we traded in that massive folder, if you guys remember. I'm sure there'll be a link um, to those videos um, in the video, but check them out if you haven't already checked them out, because yeah, there was some awesome gems. But yeah, we submitted them for grading. We finally got them back. And it's now time to unpack them and see the grades we've got. I'm very, very excited. Let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so here they are. There's two boxes. So as I was saying, they're both from different companies. So the black box over here on the right is uh, the PSA cards. And we went through a middleman called TRA Collective. A shout out to them. They do an awesome middleman service for any PSA Beckett grading or anything like that. And then the box to the left is from CGA, who's a very reputable uh, Australian grading company. And they've mo the, the bulk of the uh, grades are from CGA. So there's pretty much like 50 cards in here and there's only two cards in here, but you know, it pretty much cost us the same price to send to PSA um, so to send two cards to PSA was actually more expensive than sending 50 cards to CGA. So PSA, as you guys know, are backed out for like a year. So they're only taking express subs and we sent these literally in March. Uh, and for the two cards in that black box, they cost us like $150 each. So they have to be of, you know, very <laughs> a significant value to send to PSA and there's some two big big goodies in there I can't wait to show you but there's some gems in this box too but um, I'll leave the PSA box till the end and we'll go straight to the uh, CGA grades and see what we got one awesome thing I've realized is that they actually gave us back our um, grading holders which is pretty awesome they can get a bit expensive so shout out to them awesome there's pretty much all our cards in those slabs and a nice little leaflet from CGA um, yeah, as I was saying, they've been in the game for ages and they do, um, they've got some alright labels. A lot of people have been pretty skeptical about their new labels, so, um, yeah, but honestly, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, yeah, shout out to them, but let's see what grades we got, guys. Alright, guys, here we have it. So, the 50 cards from CGA. I'm uber excited to see what grades we got. So, we'll start off with number one. Oh, we got a first edition Slowpoke from Base Set 2 which got a CGA8, which is a pretty good grade. I mean, the card's in really good condition. Awesome. Clefairy Hollow from Base Set. We've got a CGA8. Very, very nice. Oh, hello. Venusaur Base Set 2 with the 8.5 grade. That is absolutely excellent. It was such a nice card and I'm really happy you got such a high grade. So that is awesome. Dark Violet Plume first edition Team Rocket set got a CGA9. Man, that is absolutely awesome. I mean, all of these cards were in really, really good nick when we pulled them out the box. So uh, very, very happy with these grades. Oh, the Dark Charizard from Team Rocket got a CGA 8.5. The Dark Gyarados first edition Team Rocket set with a CGA 9. Have a look at that. The Dark Blastoise Team Rocket set 
with the CGA 9, the Dark Flareon first edition from the Team Rocket set, CGA 8.5. Good old EV first edition Team Rocket with the CGA 8.5. There's a Squirtle first edition Team Rocket set with a CGA 9. We've pretty much gotten everything, uh, nothing under an A. Absolutely amazing. Next up, we've got another Squirtle. This bloke got a CGA 6. I must have jinxed myself. I should have just shut up and said nothing. But all right, that's our first six. But still an awesome card. Not too bad, not too bad. Dark War Turtle with an 8.5 first edition Team Rocket set. Charmander. First edition Team Rocket set with a CGA 9. Uh, Beedrill, uh, Koga's Beedrill uh, in a hollow. It's Japanese um, from the gym set, 8.5. Pretty happy with that. Very, very nice looking card. Alakazam base set got a CGA 9. Very nice. Krabby, first edition. Ah, with a 5. Base set 2. Eh, not bad, not bad. That's the lowest so far we've got, but. Everybody's got some love for Krabby. Oh, here we go. Here comes Team Rocket. Um, Team Rocket set. I don't think this is a hollow. This is just um, a standard non-foil with a CGA 9. Absolutely excellent. Very happy with that. Tentacool, first edition uh, base set. Uh, no, not base set. Sorry, I think it's fossil set with a CGA 7.5. Well, it says up here what it is, but I'm looking at the... Um, card itself and there's a lot of glare from my end <laughs> but yeah fossil set 7.5 very happy with that the um, rainbow energy I think it is or steel energy uh, metal energy sorry uh, Japanese set 9.5 I think that's our highest grade so far very very nice and it's a hollow as well golem first edition fossil uh, 8.5 very happy with that good old geodude with a 4 that's our new lowest grade, <laughs> but pretty cool card. Not bad at all. The first edition Haunter from Fossil with an 8.5. Absolutely magnificent. Next up, we've got Hypno. First edition Fossil with a CGA 8. Absolutely beautiful. Golbat from Team Rocket uh, in a foil. Got a 6, not too bad. We've got the Mysterious Fossil. Um, from the uh, fossil set, CG8, pretty, pretty nice. It's a first edition as well, so pretty happy with that. We've got Heracross from the Neo Genesis set, foil. Uh, it is Japanese, but it got a CGA9. Absolutely magnificent. Ooh, first edition Moltres. Only got a six, but nonetheless, absolutely excellent card. Ekant, first edition. Fossil set with a CGA 5. Raichu, first edition Raichu uh, from Fossil, which got an 8.5. Mark, first edition Mark, not bad with a CGA 8. Very, very nice. All right, guys, so we've got through all, uh, through all the CGA ones. Now it's time for the two heavy hitter PSA ones. I actually know the grades are in this because the person who sent them to me told me how much they were, um, how much they got, but there's some awesome, awesome cars I'm really looking forward to unboxing in here, so let's just get right into it. Here it is. They've clearly misspelled my name wrong, if you can see it there, but uh, yeah, I think it's in two boxes, um, one card in each box, so yeah, let's get right into it. We'll go with box number one. All right. Nice bubble wrap, very nice packaging. Let me say, check this out, guys. We've got the Neo Genesis Lugia Hollow. It came in such an awesome grade with a PSA 9. Absolutely thrilled with that. Very, very nice card. To get such a high grade, very, very happy with it. I guess we've saved the best for last because there's an awesome card in this. It didn't receive as high grade as Lugia, but this is the elusive one. Starts with a C. I know where your mind is rushing, and yeah, you're right. <laughs> it is the Charizard, so base set Charizard in here. This bad boy came out of that binder that we got traded in towards the start of the year, and yeah, it's just taken that long to get back because PSA's backed out so uh, long, but very, very happy to have this bad boy back. We've got a PSA 6. But such an awesome card, and even to have graded by PSA, it's just absolutely magnificent. 
I'm very, very happy with this. There we have it guys, there was our full sub return uh, from both CGA and PSA. Uh, very, very happy with the grades. All, honestly, mostly very, very high. Um, most of the cards were eight onwards, no tens unfortunately, but some very decent nines, 8.5s, most of them were eight and uh, 8.5s and yeah, very, very happy with them. My personal favorites would probably be the Dark Blastoise, the Dark Gyarados, even, and obviously the two PSA ones, so you've got the Lugia and the Charizard. Um, but yeah, very, very happy. Let me know which um, is your favorite. I mean, these are all cards that will be listed on our online store and we'll probably even have some in store for you guys to come in and have a look at too. Um, that will be listed for sale in our trading cards and collectibles category. Um, but yeah, let me know. Thanks again for watching guys. It's been such a long time So it's awesome to come back and record some more content I uh, really hope you enjoy it and don't forget to chuck us a like and a subscribe and share it with a mate who loves Pokemon I'm sure they'd love to see all of these awesome graded goodies uh, And yeah, don't forget to come in store to see these at 944 High Street in Reservoir And yeah, thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video